In this question, we have a couple proper nouns, some silly company and product names here. To keep them straight, we can focus on the conclusion, the focus of what matters. Rainflex executives claim. So we'll work back from there. They want to do some bid, even though the bid will just cover their costs. Evidently, they think there is some other way to make a profit from the bid. We can see from the stem that our job is to justify or strengthen this particular claim. We're looking for profit, therefore, that comes from the bid, even though the dollar amount won in the bid is not too high. Looking at the answer choices, A doesn't seem to be too relevant. It doesn't matter whether the jacket is big or small or how many flaps it has if they're just covering the costs. B looks close, but it says that Rainflex already has the contracts. If this contract were unprofitable but led to later profitable work, that would be a great answer, but that's not what B is saying. C is nice because it reduces a cost for Rainflex, but that doesn't help at profit when the bid is too low to even cover the fabric cost, so C is out. D reminds us of what B almost gave us, an ongoing stream of business. If these jackets lasted forever, but need the lining replaced, for example, and Rainflex gets some or all of that, and potentially the lining is the most expensive part of the jacket, then maybe it can profit. So D looks good. E is unrelated to whether there is a way for Rainflex to profit from this deal, although it has implications for Rainflex's business overall. Therefore, the correct answer is D.